like I woke up feeling like I'm pursuing my dreams and to have this kind of support oh my god it It's Galaxy Girl, and I recently released my very first single, Chanel Freestyle. This is my very first step into the whole music scene, and I just want to talk about the whole journey and like what it took to get here and everything that has been happening with this experience. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up as well as subscribing, and let's get right into it. Wow, I have a lot to say. Like this whole journey has been so absolutely mind blowing. Like. The way my perspective has changed and the way that I've grown with this process and the things that I've learned along the way are so priceless. Like, I started being interested in writing and making my own music last summer and it all started with one of my friends at the time teaching me how to write on a beat. And like, it was, it was the first time anyone ever really felt like I could do it, you know? And I don't know if he really felt that way, but it was the first time and anyone made me feel like they had confidence in me to pursue music and that was my very first step into it and the first thing I ever wrote and the first little freestyle I ever did it was like terrible I recently found it on my phone and I was like wow that's crazy like I can't believe that's what it used to be like you know and a lot of people may think like oh Chanel freestyle this is the first song blah blah blah, blah. but in reality this is like the fifth song that I've written and out of the other four that came before it only one is ever like probably going to be released because it took so much trial and error and so much learning and so many realizations you know like I literally wrote and recorded two whole songs before Chanel Freestyle and like completely scrapped them just because I felt like looking at those songs it wasn't where I needed to be and it wasn't something I could feel confident about like putting that out there you know, and the biggest thing about releasing my music was really like building that confidence and looking at myself as an artist and as someone who can do this, you know, because the only way for anyone to ever believe in you is for you to believe in you. And for the longest time, I didn't have that confidence. And I think that is what has been holding me back. So to finally get to a place where I could release my first song and genuinely feel confident and feel proud and feel ready for whatever people's opinions are going to be on it like that that was just an incredible thing for me you know it, it was like it's a very vulnerable thing you know so it's a it's like one thing to come in front of this camera and sit down and talk and stuff and even that like that still takes a lot of confidence but to really like you know write on a beat and go in the studio and record it and then like put all this money and time into it and be like I look at myself as an artist it takes a long time to get that into your head to have that confidence like oh I can really do this you know because for a long time I didn't feel like I could do it I feel like it was like kind of like fake it till you make it you know I would always be like oh yeah you know I'm trying to get into music I'm trying to do this like and I would kind of like I was very impatient the biggest thing that I learned from this experience is being patient. This is something my boyfriend has taught me and like it really means a lot and I really understand where he's coming from now because he told me he's a kuna, you are so talented but you are so impatient and he's like when things don't start happening right away you tend to not keep pushing you know and that is something that I need to work on, on myself as a person but putting myself through this journey of making music and like trying to be an artist you know which I'm not even saying like oh I'm this artist now like I'm blah 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 because I feel like there's a lot of growing that I need to do like just like me looking back at my very first thing I ever wrote and being like yikes you know it could really well be that I look back a year from now and be like wow this could have been changed or like I could have done this differently but the thing is like I put so much work and time into making something that I genuinely felt confident in with my current skill level. Like I got to a point where I was like, I am confident with what I'm putting out there. Like this is it. I did everything that I could for it. I practiced, you know, I wrote it, I did this, 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 and I feel good about it in this moment in time. And I think that I will continue to feel good about it because I feel like I did my best. I feel like this is like, I feel like I've never like, applied myself so wholeheartedly into something and like 
I have a couple more songs that I'm gonna be releasing soon that are fully done and like that I feel so proud about. Like Chanel Freestyle, I love Chanel Freestyle, but I feel like there are other songs that I'm currently like working on and finishing up that like are even a step up from that and like all I really want to do in this journey is just to continue to compete with myself and my past self and just do better ev like every single time. I was really nervous like I I felt like people would look like judge me I felt like my family might judge me I felt like people would think it was silly or not take me seriously and I realized that all those insecurities were from me not being fully confident in what I was trying to put out there so therefore I had to take steps back and rewrite and scrap songs and like re-record stuff in order to get to a place where I was like no like Chanel freestyle I don't expect everyone to like it like that's impossible you know you can't be like I'm gonna put something out there and it's gonna be perfect and like everyone's gonna love it but it's like I have love for it and I know that I did my best and I'm proud of it like I could say that I'm proud of it you know and not only that but I have gotten an overwhelming amount of support like I didn't know what to expect going into this because literally like my first YouTube video got like 20 views and I was like whoa that's crazy you know so I didn't know how this was gonna be like and Currently, the song is only on SoundCloud, but it will be on iTunes very soon. Uh, I just got the email that it is like being distributed, so it'll be like a day or two before it's on iTunes, Spotify, Tidal, like iHeartRadio, all that. Like it's going everywhere, you know. But like even just it being on SoundCloud and seeing the views go up and like people like reaching out to me and telling me, hey, like that was really good, you know. I, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> it has been such a humbling experience. Like I really want to cry. Like. I'm gonna try not to mess up my makeup, but I tear up thinking about it because people have reached out to me who I didn't expect to have support from. Like not just like my close friends, but people who I went to school with or who knew me like before who I don't really talk to, like reaching out to me and saying, hey, like that was really good, I support you. Those people, like it was shocking and it was motivating and it was so positive. Like I woke up this morning feeling the best that I felt in a long time. I, I woke up feeling like I'm doing something for myself, you know? Like, I woke up feeling like I'm pursuing my dreams and to have this kind of support, oh my god, it, it means a lot, it means a lot, hold on. I didn't have these huge expectations, like I went into it being like I love what I did and no matter what the outcome is I'm gonna be thankful and I'm gonna be grateful and I'm gonna accept like what's gonna happen because I truly felt like God has been guiding me in this journey and every like little obstacle that I've had along this journey has been something that helped me grow not only as an artist but as a person and I've learned such important lessons that I'm like no matter what stands in my way I'm learning something and I am pushing like you know it's like no matter what happens or like what comes out of this like I know that I am putting my best foot forward I'm putting myself out there I'm following my dreams like I literally like don't go to college anymore I I finished my two-year degree I got my AA I haven't I haven't gone like in like two quarters and all I've really been doing is like just trying to figure out like what I'm trying to do like I'm lucky enough to have supportive parents like a mom who's my best friend who supports anything I do and who like really wants me to like just go out there and pursue my dreams you know it's not like I've been just being lazy and not doing anything but like I haven't been going to school like to me that was the biggest risk and I wasn't sold on the idea of because I'm not like never going back to school I told myself that I'm taking a year off and just seeing like where I can go and after that year I'm gonna decide like what I'm gonna do moving forward but to me that was a huge risk like you know it's like I'm 19 years old there's this pressure now to like just have your life figured out and together at such a young age and like I mean some of the people I graduated with are getting married like wow like I'm I'm happy for them but it's just like whoa like I can't imagine being in that part of my life for a long time you know it's like so you really just have to kind of follow your gut. Like I had to take a risk. And I think the biggest thing that pushed me to do that is my boyfriend, he sent me this video. And it was, I think it was like Morgan Freeman in like an old interview. And he was saying like, if you have a plan B, you are setting yourself up to fail. And like, to me that resonated. Cause it's kind of like, if I'm going to school 
and only pursuing my dream on the side and saying well you know if my dream doesn't work out I can always go back to school it's like I expect to fail I don't expect to succeed in what I'm gonna do you know so it's like I had to switch it up and I had to do something new and kind of like go outside the realm of like what you're supposed to do like or like the normal path in life of like oh you know go get your degree go get your other degree like get a job get married like I had to step away from that and it was really difficult because my family is Russian and like they're traditional and despite the fact that my mom is very supportive like the rest of my family at least to my like the way I looked at it I thought they were gonna be like oh you're messing up you're wasting your life and they actually have also been like incredibly supportive recently and just like telling me that they believe in me and that they support what I do and to have that coming from such a like close-minded community at least that's like how I felt about it growing up, you know? It really means a lot to me and it really makes me feel like I'm not making the wrong decision, you know? And I don't I don't have a plan B right now. I don't like this is this is what I'm doing. Like I want to make music. I want to be an artist. I want to put things out there. I want to put girls into like hype moods. And, you know, I'm also working on stuff that's a little bit more personal and not so, like, club and stuff and just a little bit more real, like, about personal stuff that I deal with. And I, I'm trying to build up the courage and confidence to, like, put that out there. But it might be a while before I feel so ready to put the most vulnerable, vulnerable parts of myself out there in that way, you know? But it's like, I don't want to be one-dimensional. I want to pursue like all these different sides of me and I want to explore all these different sides of me and I feel like this is the happiest I've ever been following my dreams and just doing doing what I feel like will make me happy because it's like in school I did good like I could easily go and get my four year and be an accountant and all this stuff but it's like I don't think I'll ever be satisfied with that like knowing myself as a person and what I love to do I love to entertain people I love to inspire people like I love to be outgoing like there's these there's just there's just this feeling inside of me like this is what i need to try out you know and for me to have built up the courage <laughs> like if two years ago someone told me karina you're gonna be releasing your first song in june of 2019 i would like think they're crazy literally like i wouldn't i wouldn't believe them because like i've always had an interest in music i've always had an appreciation for music and when I used to date my ex, he made music and I would think like, I don't know, sometimes I would say to him like, oh, do you think I could ever make music? Because like at that part of my life, it wasn't even in my head to try to pursue it because I didn't feel like it could ever happen. I was just like, me? Like, ew, like, ew, like who would, who would listen to that, you know? Like, I don't know. And he was never supportive. He always kind of told me like, no, like it would just be silly. Like, I don't know. He never believed in me. And like... I don't like blame him for it like you know it's like you have to believe in yourself before other people will believe in you but eventually getting to a place where like one person gave me the chance to learn and like try out something like that and the way that I have grown from that and I have used those tools to improve like it's just been mind-blowing like my first two songs that I recorded they were like halfway written by me and I had half them written by a ghostwriter and I never felt connected to those songs. I never felt like a true like, okay, this is me because it wasn't me and I wasn't writing it. And Chanel Freestyle and all the music that I'm currently working on and like I have in store is stuff that I've written myself and stuff that I've like taken time to put creative effort into like just no more shortcuts. You know, no more impatience. Like, I'm taking everything and I'm enjoying my journey and I'm just like, I'm just doing this one step at a time. And I'm okay with that, you know? I used to, like, when I first started, like, recording music, when I first did my first two songs, I was like, oh, like, it's all gonna happen so fast. Like, I had this, like, unrealistic expectation. Like, I hadn't even put a song out and I was already trying to, like, make connections with people to be on features and do shows and stuff like that. And it's like, Karina slow down like you're not there yet and now I'm like I'm okay with that you know it's like I, I look at myself and I'm looking at like this long journey and I'm at the very 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 beginning like I just entered it and I'm okay with that like 
I'm really okay with that. Like I'm okay with taking things at my own pace. I'm okay with my own creative journey, my own process. And I've learned so much and I've grown so much. Like I just wanna kinda emphasize a little bit more like how truly thankful I am for everyone who helped me promote, for everyone who reached out to me, for everyone who showed me support and love and encouragement and who's helped me build that confidence to really like put myself out there in this way and see myself as an artist and pursue music like like seriously like I feel serious now it's like okay I put my first song out like I'm investing in myself I'm investing in my dream and the fact that people are actually enjoying it like it means so much like so, so much I, I don't even have words like I didn't expect this much to come out of it and like to some people it's not like this song is blowing up right now or anything I'm like you know, but it's just like to see the amount of support I've gotten because I didn't expect anything. Like I set my expectations very low so I wouldn't like hurt my own feelings, you know, going into this and doing that has really helped me like surpass my expectation and just feel so good and so positive and so inspired to continue to pursue music and to continue to create songs and stuff like <sighs> thank you guys so much. And if you guys take anything from this video, it's like please pursue your dreams no matter how scary it is or how many people you feel like might judge you or might not support you like those people might actually surprise you like my fucking christian family my grandma messaged me last night and she said karina i heard your first song came out and i'm so proud of you and i love you and that's just not something i ever thought would happen like my uncle called me today and i talked to him about it and i was like you know the song's not like because he hadn't heard it yet and because he's like no one sent me the link and i told him like it's not hella family friendly and he told me shit hold on <laughs> like trisha paytas just like having the fucking like mental breakdown but it's not a mental breakdown it's like i'm so overjoyed and like positive that it's like it's just coming out in the form of tears but my uncle told me like <sighs> He's like, I understand that it's something that I may not fully understand and not connect with, but he's like, it's okay because you are from a different generation. He's like, I remember when I was a kid with your mom and we listened to music that our parents didn't approve of. And the fact that he had this like open-minded mindset about it and not just like looking to judge me or bring me down, which is like very common in the Russian community. Like it fucking sucks. Like literally, unless you're following the cookie cutter, I go to church every Sunday and I'm gonna get married at 18 and my life doesn't fucking involve or anything but being a housewife. Like they're gonna judge you. They're gonna judge you. And that's why for a long time, I didn't like feel comfortable in my own community. Like I still, I don't have a lot of Russian friends. Like I found that group to be like very judgmental but even like a few people from that kind of background have like said some things to me and like had positivity towards what i'm doing and just to see that it also means a lot it just made me feel like i was being closed-minded and i was expecting people to judge me or not like support me just because i wasn't confident in myself and now that i do feel that confidence and i do see that support like i just have a whole different outlook like if you're afraid of something don't like don't be afraid that's <laughs> least helpful advice ever like if you're afraid just don't be but it's like if you're afraid push yourself out of your comfort zone and try it out because you don't know what can come out of it like you you don't expect to get like i don't know just don't set your expectations high but like believe in yourself enough to pursue your dreams you know you can have a super comfortable life and just kind of do what you feel like you need to do your whole life but will you ever fully be satisfied if you never like put yourself out there and do what you truly want to do you know so it's like <sighs> follow your dreams just follow your dreams <laughs> that's all i gotta say uh, this video has been like an emotional roller coaster like it really has and i'm honestly so proud of my makeup for not going anywhere because i would have been really sad if it got all messed up because i just did it like two seconds ago but <laughs> thank you guys so much genuinely from the bottom of my heart thank you all right guys that is it for this video if you enjoyed please go ahead and give me a thumbs up as well as subscribing and i will see you in my next video